Hi folks, DMX Lecture here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna add a sub panel to our main panel. Subscribe and stay tuned. We need to install the main breaker for the sub panel like this. Run the service conductor from the main panel to the sub panel. Looks like our service cable needs to be short to reach the main lugs. But the good thing is that as long as the breaker's head is lower than 1.7 meter, we can install our sub panel upside down or horizontally. So we just flip the panel. Now let's make some holes on the main panel sub panel, install the 3 quarter inch connectors and install the service cable. The service cable actually is number 6, good for the 60 amp service. Let's terminate the sub panel side first. We terminate the bonding wire to the bonding bar, neutral conductor to the neutral bar, and the two red and black two conductors to the hot locks. Now let's move on to the main panel side. So the same thing, do the bonding conductor first to the bonding bar, the neutral to the neutral bar, and the two hot to the sub panel breaker here. Now let's take a closer look at the sub panel and the main panel. So see the locks for neutral and hot need to be talker to its spec, so no loose connection. The bonding conductor here need to tight properly. Same thing on the main panel side. The bonding conductor, the neutral on the neutral bar, and the two hot on the sub panel breaker here and here need to be tight to its specs may to be talked properly. If the connection is loose here or the neutral here, there will be sparks and eventually the breaker is going to be fried. Same thing the sub panel. So here again is our whole system. So on the left here is our uh, transformer from 600 to uh, 120 to 40 split single phase to our uh, underground meter box. 
to our main panel and finally our sub panel here. I'm gonna turn on everything, then check the voltage, use my multimeter on my sub panel there. I got 235.5 between the two half, black to neutral, 118.4, black to neutral, 116.6, and uh, how to ground, sorry, black to ground. 117 and red to ground 118.6 now let's add some uh, real world load to this uh, sub panel like this uh, one pole 20 amp breaker for the kitchen receptacle and this two pole 15 amp breaker for the old fashioned split receptacle
Now is the time for us to put some uh, real load on our system. You can see we have a 20 amp kitchen receptacle on the left and uh, the 15 split receptacle on the right. The system we are using is 40 VA. But you know from the transformer to our meter box, the main panel, sub panel, they will be lost all the way down here. But I'm pretty sure it can like load up 30 VA, no problem. And let's gonna try it. Now folks, you can see I have a one light plugged into the 20 amp receptor. And two lights on the right connected to the 15 amp speed receptor. Now I'm gonna turn on all the power, see if my uh, little 40 VA system can uh, support three lights so I can do my uh, further uh, demonstration for you guys. Let's see. Looks good here. And looks good here. Perfect. 